In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlink your Microsoft account from PlayStation Network. The first thing you want to do is you want to load into Minecraft and then make sure you are logged in to the account that you want to unlink. Then what you want to do is you want to select on settings just like so. Then you want to go to left menu and scroll down until you see this option that says account. And then you guys should see this option over here that says unlink Microsoft account. And all you want to do is you want to press on that. Now, before you do that, please be aware of the potential risk. Whenever you unlink your Microsoft account from your PlayStation Network account, there are a few risks associated. So for starters, you might lose access to features like crossplay, realms, or in-game purchases, but it is going to give you a warning whenever you try to unlink your Microsoft account. So please go ahead and read that third. Early, and then once you're a thousand percent sure that you want to unlink your account go ahead and just press on unlink just like that but if you guys are having a little bit of difficulties then what i recommend that you guys do is try to alternate between psn profiles so you must be on the correct psn profile in order to get that option that says unlink microsoft account so if there's like multiple psn profiles on your device then go ahead and test out each and every single one of them until you load into the correct one because that is incredibly important as well if nothing you're doing is working, another thing that I recommend that you guys do is contact the PlayStation customer support and the Microsoft customer support as well. I know it can be a little bit frustrating, but those are some resources that you guys could utilize in order to unlink your Microsoft account. If you guys have any other ideas or suggestions or you know someone who fixed this issue, please let me know in the comment section down below so that you're able to help other people watching this video and try to use this video as like a discussion form and share your insights and stuff like that. But if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.